Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are back on the farm. Uh, we still have just a little bit of grass to mow. We didn't quite get it all done uh, last time, but what I want to do is firstly, we're going to start off and uh, we're going to do some gate jumping. Uh, we're going to buy some sheep because, uh, yeah, that's going to be our main source of income. Uh, so what I want to do is we actually have, what is it, four different types of sheep. Uh, now, the sheep, in this case, uh, I believe with cows, it, 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 it's, it differs between breed to breed. Obviously, you have uh, milking cows or breeding cows, and then you have, you know, steak cows. Uh, but with sheep, they're pretty much all the same, uh, just different uh, types. Uh, that you would have in the uh, real world. So what we're going to do is we're going to mi mix and match. And I think what we're going to do, we have 65. So I want to get, I think I'm going to get, uh, do I want to do eight of each? That would be about $20,000, give or take. So yeah, we're going to get eight of each breeding uh, five months old, or sorry, eight months old, five months gestation period uh so that we can uh start getting some uh getting some wool so let's go ahead and we'll purchase eight of these uh i think it's bethlehem isn't it A anyways <laughs> uh so we're gonna buy eight of those we're gonna go to the stun shift i'm i'm probably pronouncing that horribly wrong uh, we're going to buy eight of those. And we're going to get the Swiss black. We're going to purchase eight of those. And then we're going to get the black Welsh mountain sheep as well. So uh, hopefully this will liven up our farm a little bit. Uh, so we just dropped. Uh, about $15,000, $16,000 into our sheep. Look at these guys. They're beautiful. They're healthy. They're mature. They're lazy. <laughs> I love the white ones with the black faces. That's uh, that's like the classic sheep, right? And then this is kind of the, the little bow sheep. Anyways, it, it, it's probably just all um, fictional anyways. Uh, but yeah, so we've got uh, quite a bit of sheep and... Uh, Plenty of room for them to grow, so let's get out of their pasture. And, uh, yeah, let's finish cutting out this grass. Let's go around their, uh, their pasture. Oh! I almost couldn't quite make that. Alright, so let's jump into the tractor. Let's go ahead and... Nope, oh, everything's already lowered, so that's good. Nope, oh, that's holding. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to do this without my little cheat sheet up at the top, uh, but unfortunately, I haven't been playing for years, so I don't, I don't quite remember all of them. And I think that's nope, that was already lowered. All right, and nope, there we go. Now we, now we're, now we're cooking. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna jump into a quick time lapse, get this taken care of. And we will see you when we start uh, start windrowing our uh, our hay.
right, so that was probably a very, very fast time lapse. Oh, <laughs> that did not take very long at all. Hindsight, I probably should have just finished it. Uh, but I was, I was worried that my timing, that I was going to be pushing like an hour. Um, and with this time lapses, it, uh, it honestly only took about 30 minutes. So it wasn't, wasn't too bad. Whoops. There we go. All right, so let's uh, fold up the wind rover. Let's also lift it up. And then we will also fo fold up the mower. And we will go drop these off because now we need to... Sorry. Yeah, we have to grab the swather. I probably said that backwards. Oh, this gate. I... Mm. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to have to learn how to approach it from this angle. <laughs> they need just a little bit wider of a uh, of a berth on these on these gates to get them to activate. There we go. All right. Well, that's going to be interesting. I think what we might do is, like I said, uninstall that mod. Uh, it kind of becomes more of a hindrance than it does anything else. It's it's great for sheds where you have roll up doors. I mean, it's it's flawless there, but for gates, if they swing it, swing away from the vehicle, it's great, it's fine. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, when they swing in inwards, they uh, they just don't quite have uh, the range to allow you to not back or not not have the gate hit you. So, um, as you can obviously see, so let's drop off this equipment. We do have everything still sitting at, uh, whoops. We do still have everything sitting at the, uh, the store, so let's go pick up, uh, two more items. Ideally, ideally, if the, uh, wind rower will fit on the front of this tractor, and then we could use the baler on the back half, and do what we did while mowing and kind of kill two birds with one stone that would be amazing but uh yeah we'll see i haven't uh haven't tried it so maybe we'll get lucky maybe we won't uh let's check for traffic because yeah traffic is one of those dangerous things on this map <laughs> actually any map really and I'm trying, I'm trying to be as re realistic as possible, right? Like, without going too overboard. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Once I get better at playing the game too, because I'm, I'm a little rusty. I played last year quite a bit and the year before, but, uh, haven't played lately because I've been doing my, my snow runner thing, which is actually starting to take off quite nicely now. So I'm kind of mixing things up right now to try and uh, keep me from going insane. Can we slap this on the front? I think we can do it uh, to transport it. Wouldn't that be amazing if it works? <laughs> it looks kind of goofy, I'm not going to lie, but I mean, theoretically, everything is... You know, it, it creates the swath by spinning, so it doesn't really matter what direction you're spinning. Uh, although it might, it might, because it would be, it's backwards, so therefore it would be throwing, I think it would be throwing the grass away from the, uh, the little defla- I'm on the wrong side of the road again. Uh, you can tell I'm, uh, from North America. <laughs> And this is definitely a European map. I, I, like I said before, I don't think it's actually Greenland, but they named it Greenlands for some reason. Um, I, I will have to uh, add the mo name of the map and the modder who created it. Because it's, uh, it's a nice map. I like it. It's not just flat, and that's why I picked it. Um, and it had a pretty nice starting farm. Uh, good layout. Um, there's a lot of awkward sheds, uh, to say the least, but I think we'll, we'll, we'll use them and, uh, you know, obviously when you're building in real life, you gotta put them where you can put them, so. 
you don't necessarily have all the land and all the freedom that you want. So, uh, I'm going, you know what, I'm going to try it. I think it's going to be spinning the wrong way. Uh, but yeah, let's... Will it even unfold? Oh, yep, that's the, uh, bailer that's unfolding. Okay, so it's unfolding. Is it gonna throw the grass the wrong way? You know what? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think it's gonna work. It's just kind of creating a mound there, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, we are getting a little, uh, swale there, but, uh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna have to do this one at a time, so... Let's go ahead and fold that up. We're, we'll actually, uh, disconnect that. Oh, I gotta wait for it to finish. There we go, we'll disconnect that. I think what I'm going to do, I'm gonna do some quick bailing just to, uh... Just to get the sheep some food. Let's lower the pickup. And... Yeah, we're, uh... We're kind of picking up some grass. I'm just gonna do a couple runs real quick. Uh, just so we can get some feed over to the... Sheep. Like I said, we're just gonna kind of zigzag through this. Like, we're getting a lot of, lot of bales. Holy crap! These are tiny bales, guys. Uh, so I'm glad I got my little baler. This thing is gonna fill up quick. <laughs> Holy crap! We are in, uh, we are in for some fun. So, uh, let's grab. Let's do one more row down. That gives us one, two, three, four, probably six. This this grass had to be. Let's do one more. <laughs> I kind of want to go grab. Um, oh, here's some grass. Let's see. It should it should just convert the grass into uh, hay because there isn't much of it. Let's actually grab this grass as well. It should, it should be uh, dried out enough. All right, so let's, uh, yeah, let me see here. Let's empty this. Oh, hold on. I don't quite remember. Um, come on, switch over to my controls. Thank you. Uh, turn off. Oh, you got to turn off and then unload. That's the issue. Okay. My little cheat sheet is done. I'm going to drop this off over here, and that's a good spot. That's a good spot. There we go. <laughs> Always got to make sure your uh, tool selected, right? And uh, I could probably just carry these over. Uh, let me check real quick. Do -do -do. Look at that grass or hay. <laughs> and this little, little tiny piece of grass. Uh, we should be able to easily pick these up. Yeah. Uh, they are 35k. 35k? What? That doesn't seem right. Uh, they are not very, they are not very, um, they're not very heavy. <laughs> I think we technically can carry up to 200, although I do have the liftable mod. Or liftable bales and pallets installed. Uh, let's see... What do we got? We gotta go into... The animal menu, which is in here. Uh, yes, they have 664 liters, so they have something to chew on right now. So, uh, let's jump to the trailer, or to the <laughs> tractor. Let's get this to open. Sneak through here. Let's go back to the store and... Let's bring back the rest of our implements. I think there's only... Uh, there's a trailer. Which I'm hoping I can pull with this tractor. 
that would not be very much fun, nor would it be very useful if I can't, so. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I find commentating on, uh, in this game a little bit harder than it is in SnowRunner. Uh, maybe it's because I'm just a little rusty and I'm still trying to work out, still trying to work out the controls and the bugs and how everything works. Um, so I have to think a little bit harder and when I have to think, it, it's hard to speak out loud, so. And I'm really trying, I'm really trying to stop saying um all the time because that's, that's something that I heard in grade school where whenever I had to give speeches or, or speaking class, I was constantly just dropping ums left and right. And I still do it as an adult. I don't know why. It's just, it is what it is, right? Uh, I guess we're going to have to leave the trailer. Let's double check. I'm, I'm 99% sure I have a hitch right there. I mean, it looks like a two inch ball. Um, although this is a, a, a much more call it a pin, but yes, we can, we can haul that. So, and no, that's not an auto loading trailer. I normally would play with an auto loading trailer, but I kind of wanted to play with this thing, which I've never used before. Um, and apparently we're going to back up. See, that gate's not too bad. Uh, it's, it's the one gate getting into the, uh, well, again, wrong side of the road. But it's the gate getting into the grass field that is, uh, a little on the awkward side. And this tractor, for being electric, I don't know where the battery is. I'm assuming the motors are hidden probably within the wheel hubs. Uh, so the battery must just be the entire hood of the tractor where the engine normally would go. Uh, but this battery is insane. We've used it all freaking day and it's only gone down 16th of a percent. Or a, a 16th of a, a, of a full charge, so. Uh, and I have no clue how long it takes to, to fill up, so. We're gonna, we're gonna drain it almost completely dry. And then we're gonna plug it in and see how long it should take to uh, charge up. Uh, I also don't know... I don't think I've ever charged a vehicle in this game, so it's gonna be interesting to see... Uh, how it works, and if it tells you you have X amount of hours, or if you have a, you know, miles per hour or kilometer per hours for charging, like Tesla does. Uh, let's see here. We've got to... Okay, so there's no unfolding. There is an operation. Okay. So apparently this doesn't, uh, doesn't turn on, nor does it, uh, unfold. I was thinking maybe that cage laid down. Somehow I can get 14 bales in here, so we're gonna, we're gonna see how that works. And hopefully, yep, okay, good. That's a great start, the fact that it actually took it. Oops. Now I'm I'm screwing everything up by not being able to drive. And let's see how fast it can... Okay, it does take a little while before it sucks in the next one. I guess there you go. I mean, that's... They're pretty small bales, so I guess they will fit 14 in. Um, good. I don't have to line up perfectly, so that's nice. Um... I mean, I could <laughs> crush it with the tractor. Oh, and then I miss. Alright, well that- oh, oh, uh-oh. Uh, stop that trailer. Tractor, whatever you are. Alright, let's go for this one over here. It seems to be, uh, better lined up for us. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Okay. Oh, she is a little slow going uphill pulling this thing, so... We're definitely going to want to start high and work our way low. And... let's see here. Is that them all? Are they all picked up? I do believe they are picked up. Ah, the one thing I didn't, uh... 
let's go into transportation mode. And then we will sneak out this gate. Uh, but the one thing I didn't install, which I'm going to have to look up, is the... Uh, see, this gate works perfectly. I don't know what it is with that other gate. Maybe we don't use that other gate. It's a, it's a little... It's a little on the awkward side. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, man. Okay, well, you know what? We'll get, uh, we'll get these unloaded. Somehow. Unload. Don't know why that had to def why that had to fold down, but it did. Oh, okay. Let's unload here. Oh, that's that's so cute. <laughs> All right, let's throw it back in operation. <clears throat> it's nice that it uh, yeah, it works pretty well. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And look, let's. Uh, Transportation mode. There we go. Let's just tuck it in here. I mean, this is short of uh, using that to, to keep extra bales. That's a great place to store that. And uh, let's go into our menu real quick. All right, so we got 5,517 liters. That should get us... Am I, am I stupid? I think I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm stupid. Sheep eat grass. They don't need... They don't need hay. Um, is that true? Did I just make all this hay for no reason? Um, animals. Oh, where is it? Uh, do 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 do. Should say here somewhere. Uh, do, 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 blah, 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 blah. The only, the only difference is their appearance. Uh, in order to sell wool, they don't say what they eat. Uh, I'm going to have to look that up, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we didn't need to make that hay. Uh, we'll, we'll try it the next time. Uh, but since we made the hay, we're going to just use the hay. Uh, I don't think it makes it... Let's actually go in... Nope, it is this menu. Ah, uh, sorry guys, I'm a little... Like I said, I'm a little rusty. Grass is... $80 a bale. Or $80 a thousand liters. Yeah, I believe that's for a thousand liters. And hay is 104, so... You know what? It's not that big of a deal. We'll feed them hay this time. They're taking it, so it must be okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just run with it. Uh, so yeah, good, uh, good, good thing to know. Like I said, I don't, I don't have a whole lot of experience. When I played, uh, years ago, I really only did, uh, I really only did, I forgot this is backwards because it was on the front of the vehicle. I only did arable crops. Um, I didn't really mess with the animals too much, and it's uh, it's definitely showing. So, uh, thank you for being patient. As that unfolds, and uh, yeah, let's start. We can actually start in this corner here. So that should. Yep, that should wrap around and. Yeah, we should be able to collect all of our grass. So let's go ahead and throw this in a time lapse. And we will get this show on the road. Ooh, little, little. I'm in the hedge a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, 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 oh,
right, I think what we're going to do is it's getting late. It's already, uh, wow, it's already after six o'clock. So, uh, you know what? That would be a nice mod because I'm not a military per time person. Like, I, I don't think that's, I mean, that's what it's called here. <laughs> Obviously, I don't think in, whoops, let's fold that up. Uh, I don't think in like Europe where they use this time uh, all the time. I don't think it's called military time there, but you guys know what I'm trying to say, right? Uh, I, I should find a mod that actually gives me a, a you know, AM, PM kind of thing. Uh, but in uh, order not to bug you, or to uh, bore you, sorry, not to bug you, and uh, in order to try to get this done, because we will be advancing to April in the next episode, I am going to start packing up some hay. And then I want to get that delivered to the sheep and fill that up. Um, I'm hoping we can fill it up. We should be able to. And uh, yeah, and then we can kind of see how much grass or hay, because apparently sheep eat grass and not hay. Uh, as you can see, they've kind of already eaten a good chunk of it. <laughs> so, I mean, they're they're already a thousand liters in. Uh, but, you know, that's that's the name of the game, right? Like, we got to feed them. Uh, so let's. Uh, I didn't fold it and I didn't pick it up, so we just need to turn it on. Now we can uh, start making some. Bales and these things should be. Uh, shooting out like rabbit poop. I don't know if you guys have ever seen rabbit poop, but it is just a million little balls of, of poop. So, uh, that was the best analogy I could come up with on the, uh, at that instance. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, we are going to have so many freaking bales. It's, uh, it's good stuff. I love it. So, let's get these, uh, bailed up. Uh, these swaths, which I always have a hard time pronouncing. I hate, uh, I hate trying to say that word. Because <laughs> I sound like, a, I feel like I, I'm, I'm pronouncing it too long, or, or I'm, or I'm kind of saying it slow to make sure that I pronounce, pronounce, pronounce it correctly. Jeez, I almost said pronunciate. <laughs> uh, but when I say swath, I always, I always want to say swath. And just yeah anyways all right well let's get this going the uh the sun is starting to to set we'll uh i think what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna do the full headland i want to get these uh these are big rows here so i want to i want to try to get as many bales as we can before uh before the sun sets we do have lights so so i can kick those on because I don't know, at least with uh, SnowRunner, nighttime seems to uh, be multiplied because if you're watching it on, say, a cell phone or on a, on a smaller device, uh, usually it's a lot brighter on a computer, so uh, we'll, we'll turn the lights on so you guys can see. <laughs> yeah, it's me being courteous. It's amazing. All right. And then we've got this row here, I guess. Yeah, we'll just we'll shoot to this one here. And I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be overly worried about uh, getting every little bit of grass. We have we have another field. Uh, although I did call this grass, it's technically hay. Uh but we do have another grass field, so which will have to be mowed in April. So we are gonna have just a a lot. <laughs> a lot of bales um, and I think what we're gonna end up doing is probably selling a majority of them but we'll have to uh, we'll have to do a quick calculation try to figure out exactly how many we need to feed the sheep per month and grass is definitely something that we're gonna have to be cutting quite a bit of uh, but I don't want to do it every episode so uh, I may, I may just do that off camera. I don't know. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me doing all the grass cutting as it's necessary. 
Uh, I will only be cutting it at the at the stage growth or whatever they call it. It's it's stage two, so technically you can cut it when it's shorter because uh, it is grass. But uh, I want to wait until it's as long as it was today. So I believe that's at least two months of growth. Uh, I could be wrong, so don't quote me. But we'll uh, yeah, we'll we'll figure something out there. Oh, we've uh, <laughs> we got a hitchhiker. There we go. Go ahead and turn that back on. Oh, that. There we go. And let's get this little bit of grass here. Or, hey, geez. I'm going to do that a lot. I am going to do that a lot. I definitely want to. Uh, I am going to look it up and make sure that um, for some reason it just doesn't say grass under the, the sheep and it's supposed to be hay or, you know, whether or not they take hay or grass. I, if if it is correct, they do take hay or grass. They're they're fine. Uh, but if we don't have to, if we don't actually have to turn it into hay, then we can save. Well, we don't even save a step, do we? Because we cut it and went or uh, turn it into hay all in the same pass. So uh, whether or not the tractor will go faster, I don't quite remember. It might. There's a good chance it it will. Um, so that might be an opportunity to save some time, but. At least we're not making one pass, cutting it, one pass haying, or turning it into hay. And then another pass to swath it, and then another pass to winrow it, so, or to uh, bale it. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's definitely one of those things. I will be, uh, I will be using the follow me mod once we get into, uh, multiple tractors and slash multiple vehicles and there is no there is no law or written rule about not hiring uh, workers on the farm because obviously we're trying to get things done and unfortunately we can't do everything but starting out we're we're gonna have to because I mean we really can't afford a worker so uh, but as it is now just seven o'clock at night we are just finishing this row and I'm going to kind of want to clean up these edges, although I'm not too worried about it because it's not, it's probably not going to create that much. Oh, thank you, Gate. Uh, it's not going to create that big of an issue or, or are we going to pick up that much grass? Although it is. It will create uh, probably a couple of bales, maybe a handful of bales by the time I go all the way around and get all the little pieces of grass that are kind of in the long grass. But anyways, let's go ahead and turn off the baler. We'll unload it. Hold it up. Although, yeah, that should. Is that going to fall off? Yep, there it goes. <laughs> All right, and we will just drop the baler off over here out of the way. That's probably a good spot there. We're going to sneak out. Oh, now you don't want to open. Thanks, gate. There we go. We can sneak out that gate. We will grab our baler and then we ooh, we even got a little we even got a little piece of wool there. We are already starting to produce wool. Uh, I'm gonna leave it folded up until we uh, get through the gate. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure if it will fit. This is a rather small gate over here. Although I don't think that bush. I don't think that bush actually <laughs> stops you from going through it. So. All right, we've got this one. We're going to have to grab that one on the way out. I'm so glad that these don't have to be perfectly aligned. It, it's got a pretty... 
Good automatic. Although I wish she could pick it up faster. Like as soon as it clears that corner there, I feel like we should be able to uh, pick up the next one. So the the speed seems a little slow, but yeah, once it once it turns that corner, there should be no reason for it not to take up another bale. But as you can see, once I start going in a straight line, uh, it won't pick it up. It actually deposits it first. Uh, we are at 10. We are almost full. Alright, that should be all we need. Uh oh. No! Uh, <laughs> somehow we are stuck. Come on. Uh, alright, well, we're gonna have to get ourselves unstuck. Alright, so, yeah. We're unstuck now. <laughs> oh, you know what? We only have... We might as well grab... This one bale here. Because, yes, we only had... 13, and we can hold 14, so we might as well... Might as well make it a full load. All right, let's see if we can sneak out here. Come on. This this gate, like I'm I might just I wonder if I can delete that gate. <laughs> it's just a grass field. We don't have to keep animals in or anything like that. So uh it would would kind of make sense to Oh, we have to. We also have to I gotta remember this too, we have to approach from this side because when you unload it, for some reason, that wants to fold down, so let's go ahead and Ooh, we do not have a good uh turning radius on this thing. Alright, you know what? That should be good there. So let's go ahead and unload bales. And is that going to... Is that going to take them? Are we full? Ah, we are full. Okay, so we've got 11,500 liters. Alright. Oops. Uh, what? <laughs> Alright, well, um, that, uh, didn't quite go to plan. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna call that an episode on this, uh, bombshell that just dropped. And I believe our tractor is now falling through the map, so... We're going to have to reset these and uh, we will see you in the next episode as the baler loader, bale loader, dances away in the night and scares off all the sheep. So we will see you in the next one. Bye for now.